what's going on YouTube and happy Thanksgiving. This is Necrostevo and it's time for something a little bit different from all these league battles that I've been doing. I'm up a little bit early this morning and I'm basically just here watching um, a kid. So I figured I'd upload something while she's sleeping. Now uh, this team is a little bit weird. It's against my battle um, rival friend uh, Leo on Twitter and I was trying to go for a pseudo uh, third generation team slash um, for it have some more things. I really wanted a trick room sweep with camera up. That's what I was playing around with this team concept. Um, the opening setup is really nice because I get to either burn Torterra if he stays in or as he switches on an Altaria. If it is a physical Altaria, I at least force, force him to go for Heal Bell. He really surprises me with Sing. I I don't think in my entire Pokemon career have I ever hit the move Sing in game and I've never used it in a competitive battle. And he just hits it no problem. So that kind of blew my mind. I'm just gonna stand here and try to wake up. I go for a trick room that way if he, I know he can't KO me with any single attack basically, uh, even if he is especially attacking Altaria. And since I went for trick room, he switches in Cloyster and Cloyster won't be able to do much under trick room. So I'm just gonna go for will o -Wisp again, hoping to boink, burn Cloyster, excuse me. And I get to burn Torterra, not bad. I, I realize that I am wasting turns on Trick Room, so I might as well do some damage to uh, Torterra and use utilize a Trick Room for what I have remaining. I can also set Trick Room back up with Reuniclus too. Uh, so Explosion does a ton of damage to Torterra. Maybe an offensive Torterra? I'm not sure. I wasn't expecting it to do that much. Granted, I did get this uh, Reuniclus from uh, Robotnik. It's sexy, so and it's a solid quality. Uh, uh, saw rock anyway so so I'm gonna go out in the camera up trick room is up so that means I will outslow all of his Pokemon and thereby outspeed them this is a very 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 slow camera up and mega evolve and now we have some sheer force boosted attacks to throw his way up first is heat wave finishing off Torterra so that's one KO for camera up this is actually I think the I think this is the first time I've used this camera up uh, in this battle. I had this battle a while ago, but I thought it was worth uploading because it's interesting. Um, for those of you who don't know, Camera Up gives Iron Head as a coverage move, so that means fairies aren't really a good switch into it at all, especially when I can trade that flinch chance for a boosted power. Uh, he then goes for Shell Smash as my Trick Room wears off, and I thought that that was weird, but it turns out he has Focus Sash, so uh, I just went for Earth Power, not wanting to miss Heat Wave. Granted, I did have the burn chance with Heat Wave, but I didn't want to risk missing it because I knew I could just bring in my Perugly afterwards and go for Fake Out. I really like pairing Fake Out users or Priority users with Trick Room because it allows you to have that uh, offensive presence while at the same time maintaining speed if you're unable to get up Trick Room. So Fern's going to come in here. One of the first battles I'm actually posting with Fern on this stream too. I believe I got this Glammy off from Renato. Uh, so that was very fun to train up. I've never really used a Perugly. Didn't like its design, but having access to fake out and some pretty decent coverage moves alongside these in bulk because of thick fat is interesting so as he brings out porygon i i figured that it was scarfed i didn't want to switch anything in on a coverage move or try attack from porygon especially after he got the special attack boost so i let fern go down and bring in reuniclus for free i know he's scarfed so setting up a trick room here is fantastic but he gets the critical hit try attack which still isn't able to knock me out. This is an offensive Reuniclus. It actually ended up breeding for the PPL a little while ago. But I missed the Focus Blast right after he got a crit on the Tri Attack. Man, that sucked. Um, if I had gotten that Trick Room up right there, that would have been, as Pokemon would say, a snack wrap. Because everything that he had basically went down to Reuniclus, or I could put them in KO range of my last two remaining Pokemon. I was really, 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 really hoping that his Altaria was um, the off, physically offensive variant. But it turns out he's Hyper Voice. Well, my whole plan there was to come and go for a substitute on Porygon as he tried to go for Tri Attack because he's Scarf, so he would be faster. So I would go first underneath the Trick Room. But now the Trick Room's still up, which means now I'm slower uh, with my Electivire out here. And that means I have to eat a Hyper Voice to the face, which sucks. Um, surprisingly, even with the naive nature, Electivire lives the Hyper Voice. I was very surprised to see that. Uh, Expert Belt Ice Punch is going to be enough to finish off Altaria. But 
as the Twisted Dimensions return to normal, I'm not going to be able to do enough damage with Flamethrower to Excadrill to finish it off. Um, it's, it's even on an air balloon, which means I can't use Earthquake, which might have done a little bit more damage. Uh, and then he goes for the Rapid Spin. Uh, I guess that's style points. I'm curious what you guys think about finishing battles off with Rapid Spin like that. Um, especially given the nature of this battle, where I clearly encountered some hacks that allowed my opponent to win. Let me know what you guys think of Rapid Spin finishing the battle, if, it, if that type of thing ever uh, happens to you guys or not. But in any event, I don't get to battle Leo very often, so it was still a pleasure battling him. You will see this kind of Trick Roomy core in a couple more battles. I have some excellent matches against Mike Hobbs where we're doing Generations battles, so I've been uploading a lot of League battles. Let's get back to a little bit more um, casual and fun battle style where I'm not quite so competitive and I get to enjoy the battles a little bit more. Now with that, that's kind of just what I wanted to upload today's battle video for. I know it's unlikely that you're going to watch it on Thanksgiving, but I wanted to give you a battle and I'm not only thankful for the ability to just battle in Pokemon and have fun, I love the competitive aspect of it as well. It's a nice uh, brain and thought exercise. Just to exercise your brain is a muscle, really. Um, but also, I'm really thankful for all of you guys as my followers or my friends in the community. And you all take the time to watch my content, even when I post different weird types of content. So I do appreciate it. And... If you ever want to see something specific, at least tell me, especially on Twitter, I'm much easier to reach there. That way I can see if it's something I can incorporate or not. Uh, shout outs to Ominous Script on Twitter, actually, which is, he's one of the reasons I'm posting this video, is because he said that he wanted me to get back to that more casual style of uploading battle videos. So that's why we're here today. Uh, so I hope you guys, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, have a great Thanksgiving. Um, it, Ignore all the pilgrimy stuff because all that stuff was bullcrap. But find something to be thankful for. Um, I don't have to work today because I'm on babysitting duty, but I will be at work bright and early tomorrow on Black Friday. So if you guys do go shopping on Black Friday, be safe, uh, be sensible. Remember, it's just a toaster or whatever the heck you're buying. It's not that big of a deal. I could probably fill a video with my negative Black Friday impressions um, after working retail and food service for several years. But, uh, Hope you guys have a great holiday, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.